Hello world and welcome back. So last week I did a little survey about what type of notes people were most interested in knowing more about and layer notes came out on top. Now that makes perfect sense to me because when I started using DaVinci Resolve there was two things that took me back. One was the enormity of the UI and how massive it was and how much you could tweak and turn and dial and how many things you just had to learn. And the other thing was the concept of notes. I hadn't really worked in an app that used notes before and I couldn't really get my head around how it worked and it looked kind of intimidating. But it wasn't until I figured out, well, it's just like layers in Photoshop. It's just not organized in a vertical way. It's just laid out horizontally and basically then it works the same way. That makes sense and I was ready to go. That was until I came across layer notes or layer mixer notes as they are technically called. I was taken aback once again about the concept of how a layer mixer note worked. What did it do? How did it work? I, I, for the life of me, I couldn't figure it out. It took me forever to find out a way to use it and how it worked and get my head around it. So in order to save you from a lot of time learning how layer mixer notes actually works, just watch this short tutorial and after this, you will understand the concept and you'll be able to implement it in your color grading workflow. And I'm going to show you three different ways you can qualify color and luminance. I'm going to use the qualifier tool, I'm going to use the six vector presets and the vector luminance preset. So jump on in, let me show you layer mixer notes and get you going. Okay, so in this simple timeline, I have three clips and in this first note I just added a little bit of exposure and contrast and saturation to make it pop a little bit extra like so. And in order to add a serial note you right click and you can go add note, add serial or you can use the fast and easy way and use the shortcut Alt S, Option S and that will just apply extra notes. Now in serial notes, notes will work in an accumulating way. So the RGB output of the first note will go to the RGB input of the second note and whatever you do here will go from the second note to the third note. So everything will just stack on top of each other. Now that can be very helpful and useful. One example to show it is if I go to note number two here and if I go down to mid-tone detail, you can see I can only turn it up to 100, that's the maximum. But that will accumulate and be add, added to note number three. So if I go to note number three, I can do it one more time and I can do the same on note number four. One more time, like so, and then you completely ruined your image. But that just goes to show that everything accumulates until you get to your output. So let's just delete these three notes. And let's just say I wanted to separate the colors in this image. Let's just say I wanted to really cool down the whites in the background, but I wanted to keep her, her skin healthy and saturated. So what I could do is I could go to the offset wheel here and I could bring that down. I'm going to go to my panel and cool everything down. And then I'm going to add a note, Alt S. And in the second note here, I'm going to go to my gamma and bring this the skin color back. The thing here was with note number three is that is working on top of the background here. So you're actually affecting the background as well. You can see here, maybe if I dial it a little bit extra, it's easier for you to see. So you're, you're correcting the white background that we just fixed in the previous note. So we kind of like counter working on the what we wanted to achieve so sometimes that could be what you want and sometimes it blends in nicely but other times you just really want to separate it so instead of doing that let's just delete these note notes i'm going to add a new note and the way to add a layer mixer is right click on the note add note and then you can add a layer that will bring up a new note and the layer mix itself. So these are just basic notes like every other notes. The, the only thing different here is you split the input so that both have the exact same input, but they split the output and 
unlike Photoshop, DaVinci works from up and down. So that means everything that's happening on this note takes precedence over what you do in this note. So, and then it mixes it together with the layer mixer and outputs to the next note. So if I do something here, you, you won't be able to see it. So if I bring the offset all the way to blue, nothing's happening because in the bottom note, nothing is happening and this one takes priority. So let's go back to the first note, reset that. So if I want to separate out her, separate out her skin, I could in this first example, I'm going to use the qualifier and I'm going to turn highlight mode on and then I'm going to qualify her skin like so. And again, this is not an exercise in how you qualify, but let me just do a little nice job of qualifying her skin like so. Soften it up a little bit and then clean the blacks clean the skin and I like to add a little bit of denoise like so and just for for the fun of it I'm going to go out of highlight mode I'm going to track her skin so I'm just going to draw a very quick rough window around her skin I'm going to soften it up a little bit I'm going to go to the tracker and track her skin there's not much movement here and I know we're picking up a little bit in the background here but that's okay so turn the power window off now in the top note whatever we do here will go through except for what we have selected in this note so now in the top note I'm going to cool down the background I'm using the offset wheel down here to cool everything down a little bit and that makes her skin pop a little bit more so we can bring it down maybe deset it just a little bit like so so now if I disable the skin you see we have this really pale boring looking blue skin and if I enable it again we'll bring her color back and that's all connected in the layer mixer note and then you can keep adding notes. So that's one way of doing it. Another way, if we jump to this second clip, again, I did a balancing of the image. This had a green tint to it. So I just balanced it out and made it look a little bit better. So I'm going to Alt S and you can also press Alt L and that will bring up the layer mixer for you. and two notes as a layer mixer notes. If you want to add extra notes, you can right click again, add note, add layer, and that will add a third note. But let's look apart from that. And this time, instead of using the qualifier, let's go and do the same. Let's separate out his skin, but instead of using qualifier, we're going to go to color presets, Sometimes yellow works best for skin and I tried this one and for this one red works better. So I'm going to go to highlight mode. Again, going to qualify and just tweak it a little bit like so. Clean the blacks around him, clean the white and I'm going to denoise it up to something like 10. So once again, I'm going to go out of highlight mode. We have separated his skin and now we can go and work on the, the rest of the image. And I think this is a bit warm and for a funeral service, it looks kind of too happy. So I'm going to bring it down quite a bit. I'm not looking at his skin right now. I'm going to take out a little bit of the blues and his jacket like so and neutralize it and then offset it a little bit and then maybe cool everything down a little bit like so and maybe desaturate it a little bit like so. Now his skin really pops out 
too much. So we're going to go from the top note to the bottom note where we have his skin selected. And I'm going to, oops, going to go to his skin and bring it down a little bit, deset it just a little bit, but still make it pop like so. And there you have it. So again, look what the top note did to his skin and you bring it back by qualifying his skin and bringing that back out. So it looks, it's a lot easier to separate things this way. Okay, let's go to the third and last example here. So in this note, I just did a little bit of exposure compensation. And let's say we really, really wanted to bring in a lot of teal or blue or dark in the, in the road here and in the cast, but we wanted to keep the highlights and the snow, we wanted to keep that white. So again, I'm going to press Alt S to make an extra note and then Alt L to create a layer mixer. And in the bottom note, instead of qualifying the snow, I'm going to go to another very powerful way of separating colors and luminance. And this is under color presets and you select chroma light. And now if I go to highlight mode, you can see it does an excellent job. And the good thing about this is it's very organic and fluid and you won't, if you have a 10 or 12 bit image, you won't see anything breaking. It even does a great job on eight bit images. There you just have to tweak it and look and look at it really carefully. But on an image like this, you have no issues whatsoever. I'm just going to give it a little bit of denoise, but that's it. You qualified all your highlights and now you can work on the asphalt. And again, I'm going to go to the offset wheel down here and I'm going to bring that down to a teal orange. And uh, actually I'm going to bring down everything also and add more teal, greenish teal, bluish here. So turn that off and on. And you can see on the snow here, if you look at the, vec uh, the scopes down here, it's perfectly clean and white. Everything is white here on the scopes. And if you think the effect is too strong, you can also go to the key tab here and you can go to your gain output. This is just a opacity slider. So at one, everything is showing through. But if you go down to, for example, 0.5, something like this, then it's only half of your adjustment that is showing through on your image. And I can turn that off and on, off and on. So if you can't have figured that you settle in on the right look, but you just want to tone it down or up a, bit, a little bit, you can use the gain here in the key output. So that's layer mixes for you. It's not that difficult to understand. You just need to wrap your head around how it works. And I hope this helped out. If you do appreciate the channel, please consider subscribing and show us some love and hit that like button. And we'll be happy to do a lot of other tutorials. Maybe if you have something special, just leave a comment and I'll be happy to make another video about that. So hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.